Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're here for some more M21 uh, early streamer event deck techs. Uh, so I'll be playing the early streamer event on the 24th of June, next Wednesday. Um, as such, uh, similar to past uh, set releases, I put out a bunch of decks. Um, it's going to be hit or miss. Um, these are all untested best of one decks for the format uh, for the day. Um, so really it's to kind of get an idea, play around some of the new cards, see what works, what doesn't. Um, so what we have here is a teamer, uh, draw two deck. So teamer being the color pairs of red, blue, and green. Um, and really what we're trying to do is draw a bunch of cards and dodge Narset. Um, so the kind of the payoffs of the deck, uh, we've had some older cards, uh, like Improbable Alliance. Uh, this card here, whenever you draw the second card each turn, you get a 1-1 one, one fairy, and for six mana you can uh, draw on this card. Uh, you have Iron Craig Pyromancer. Uh, so this basically lightning bolts every time you draw a second card, so it deals three damage to any target. Um, so it's kind of like your package there. And then you have the new card, uh, Joriel Munvali Recluse. Uh, whenever you draw your second card, you get to create a 2-2 two -two cat. So there's a bunch of tokens that can be created through the deck. And then for six mana, uh, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So it's kind of an overrun style effect. Um, so kind of pairing into that, what we're trying to do is have a bunch of cards that allow us to draw uh, a second card each turn. Um, so we got the reprint of Crash Through, which is really nice. Um, so in addition, if we get something really big, we can also give a Trample perhaps. But for the most part, um, it's really just a one mana cycler. Uh, you have Opt That Cycles, you have the new card Frantic Inventory. Uh, this is uh, two mana, draw cards, then draw draw card and then draw cards equal to the number of additional copies of frantic inventory that are in your graveyard um so a little bit of a non vote with uro when you're escaping it but you can try to leave those as they are in the graveyard um growth spiral also gets you head on lions and then you have the royal scion and, and teferi which lets you loop every turn uh so draw a card discard a card same to with teferi but you get to do it on your opponent's turn as well and then four copies of uro might be a little much. We could probably go three. I was also considering Rata in this deck just to be able to play lands off the top to keep the gas going. Um, but Uro, at the very least, it draws you a card. It gets you ahead on lands. Um, we're filling our graveyard quite a bit with all these cheap kind of cantrip style effects. Uh, so it's a way to escape it back afterwards. Uh, mana base wise, we have all the shock lands, three fabled passage, and a bunch of basics. So really what you want to do is set up turn two, one of these kind of payoffs, whether in Parvo Alliance or Joriel, uh, potentially turn three Pyromancer, and then from there, spend the rest of the game just drawing cards. Uh, even just getting yourself ahead on lands can be put beneficial, uh, so you can play a card and then draw an additional card that same turn. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll be doing a bunch of these kind of quick, under five minute or so deck techs. Um, if there's any decks you'd like to see, do let me know. I'll be posting a bunch of deck lists on my Aetherhub account. Um, might not get time to do all the deck techs, but if there's, there are ones you'd like to see or any suggestions you have to these lists, uh, do let me know. I appreciate you stopping by and hopefully see you on the 24th during the early streamer event. Thanks for watching.